7 Ways to Fix Epson Printer Not Printing Issue 7 Quick Solutions Method 1 Check the printer connection Verify the USB cable connection Step 1 Check the cable to see if it is correctly connected Step 2 if it isn't, take the cable out and check the ports. Step 3 You need to connect your PC to the printer without using a hub. Step 4 If you need to check the ability of the cable, connect the cord to a different USB port. Step 5 also, use another USB cable to check if the issue is in the cord. Verify the network printer. Step 1. Check the network settings, including the modem and router. Step 2. Open the network connection status of your print system. Step 3. Now, check if the devices are linked to the same network. Step 4 For a wired connection, you need to unplug it first. Step 5 Then, reconnect it and check if it was misplaced somehow. Step 6 If you are still unable to make the connection, change the cable. Step 7. Disconnect the wireless printer to your home or office network if you have one. Method 2. Set the printer as the default printer. Step 1. Press the R and the Windows logo keys at the same time. Step 2. Then, the run command will pop up. Step 3 In the command box, enter control. Step 4 Go to the view by section. Step 5 Now, tap on the large icons. Step 6 After that, choose the devices and printers option. Step 7 Then, right-click the model you are using. Step 8 Finally, tap on the Set as Default Printer option. Method 3 Update the driver. Step 1 Start by right-clicking the Start menu. Step 2 Then, select the Device Manager option. Step 3 Now, find your driver, and select the Update Driver option. Step 4 after that, you need to select Search Automatically for Drivers. Step 5 Finally, wait for the procedure to complete. Step 6 To save the changes, restart your PC. Method 4 Check the print spooler service. Step 1. Press the Windows logo key and R at the same time. Step 2. The run command box will open up on the screen. Step 3. 
Now, type services.msc and tap the enter button. Step 4. In the next step, the services window will open. Step 5. After that, double click on the print spooler. Step 6. Then, set the startup type as automatic. Step 7. Check if the service status is set as running. Step 8. If it is manual, switch the status to automatic startup. Step 9. Thereafter, you have to tap the start button. Step 10. Now, click the OK button. Step 11. Check if the print jobs are able to process now. Method 5. Disable the Use Printer Offline feature. Step 1. Click the Windows key and R to open the Run box. Step 2. Type control panel into the command box. Step 3. Tap the enter button on the keyboard. Step 4. Now, select devices and printers from the list. Step 5. Then, right click on the printer model. Step 6. After that, check if the Use Printer Offline feature is selected. Step 7. If it is, switch the option to Use Printer Online. Step 8. Once done, right-click on your model once more. Step 9. Here, check if the set as default printer option is checked. Step 10. If you are able to print now, close the window. Method 6. Clear all print queues. Step 1. First, go to the Windows Search tab and open the Run box. Step 2. Now, type services.msc and click the Enter key on your keyboard. Step 3. The screen will now open the services window. Step 4. After that, Go to the print spooler in the service window. Step 5. Right click on the spooler icon to open the properties menu. Step 6. Next, press stop, and then click OK. Step 7. Click the Windows key and E to open File Explorer. Step 8. The print queue will appear on the screen now. Step 9. Thereafter, delete all the files listed in this folder. Step 10. Right-click the print spooler again. Step 11. Here, you need to open the Properties folder. Step 12. Select the Start option and click on the OK option. 
Step 13. Turn off the devices and unplug the power cable. Step 14. Let the devices rest for 5 to 10 minutes. Step 15. Once done, turn them on and plug the cables. Method 7. Check the cartridges. Step 1. Tap and hold the Windows key to open the Settings app. Step 2. Next, click Bluetooth and devices on the left side. Step 3. Then, choose the Printers and Scanners option. Step 4. Right-click on your printer and choose Printing Preferences. Step 5. Go to the Maintenance tab and select Epson Status Monitor 3. For more such help and information, visit us at www.printertails.com or call us at 1-877-469-0297